Well, we're going to start right now with team coverage on the wind out there. Meteorologist David Bigger with what to expect overnight and tomorrow morning. And NBC4's Beverly White talked with a mother and her sons that were saved by mere inches tonight. Here's Beverly with the story. Beverly. That's right, Chuck. The scene is nearly clear here at Irvin Street near Hazeltine, where one apparently top-heavy old dead tree was no match for the forces of nature. This SUV with a tree through its windshield is a casualty of 40 mile per hour plus winds that struck the San Fernando Valley this afternoon. Lorena Lopez was driving in Van Nuys with her sons when the sky went dark. I just I looked up and I saw a branch coming down and I just put the brakes on and before you know it. It just happened so quick. I don't know. My kids were crying and the Lopez's were unhurt. Their SUV totaled. Winds also brought down a huge tree in Sherman Oaks and this tree too, damaging three parked cars in Panorama City. We hear a big drum like something is uh, like an earthquake. It feels like an earthquake. In the high desert, dust in the wind forced temporary closures on Highway 138 and the 14 freeway. Drivers fearing they'd tip over sat it out. So I've been driving a truck for 20, 30 years, and I've never pulled over for the wind before until today. While back on Irwin Street, blocked for hours by the tree atop the SUV, neighbors hope the city of L.A. takes notice. I noticed it was dead, and I was going to call the city, and I tried to get through to the city, but they're so hard to ever get anyone picking up. They need to start checking their trees and taking them down before they fall on someone and kill someone. It's preventative maintenance. While the mom in the SUV is just grateful, her kids right in the back. And he always wants to come in the front with me, the older one, and I tell him, no, no, you're not going to go in the front because I care. Street services crews tell us they are pleased no one was injured or killed at the scene here today. And they had no comment about preemptive tree removal. They say too many downed trees still await their attention tonight. Reporting live in Van Nuys, I'm Beverly White, NBC4 News.